laboring in the 21st century. It's hard to imagine, but as Corinna Chan reports, there are more people in servitude now than ever before, and many of the victims are right here in Southern California. And then I told him that I want to go home. I want to see my family, but she told me that I can't go home. She won't let me go home. Mimi is a human trafficking survivor from Indonesia. Through her tears, she tells a story of emotional and physical abuse that lasted seven years. Human traffickers promised her a job as a nanny, but all she got was misery. They won't allow me to speak with nobody. The only friend I have is the three dogs. Mimi joined other survivors of the slave trade at the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles for a Monday press conference. This is a business where people are abusing other people, bringing them in, using them for the sex trade, using them as slaves inside a home, using them in sweatshops. We've got to stop it. Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez helped to pass laws to fight human trafficking and aid victims. California state officials also announced financial aid for six human trafficking task forces, including one in Orange County. So I'm here to announce that we are going to provide each of those task forces $450,000 each year for the next three years for them to continue to work on uh, their important work in combating human trafficking. At the end of the press conference, they unveiled this mural created by artist Guillermo Burt to bring the issue of human trafficking to the Museum of Tolerance. And now I am here. I am a different person. I can speak in front of everybody about my story. This is Corinna Chan reporting. The Coalition to Abolish Slavery and Trafficking, also known as CAST, helps victims of the slave trade. If you suspect someone is a victim of human trafficking, please step up and call the CAST hotline at 888-KEY-TO-FREEDOM.